Hi, this is Wilderness Surviving to Thriving, and today we're going to talk about how to find out if something is edible in the uh, emergency situation. So, uh, first of all, the scenario is I'm on the move, I guess, and you know I need some energy, so I want to eat something, and I don't have a campfire, so I need to eat it raw. When you're choosing something and you're going to test something, you should always test it the way you're going to eat it. For example, if you know you're planning on cooking it or boiling it, then you should test it that way. So sometimes, you know, like uh, a sting of nettle, for example, you can't eat it raw, but you can eat it cooked. So you want to uh, you want to make sure that you're eat, you know testing it the right way. So the way you're going to prepare it, that's the way to test it. So I'm on the move, and this is an emergency situation and I want to see if this is edible. Well, this is the plant I chose. Now, why did I choose this plant? I'm going to pretend like I don't know what this is. I chose this plant for several reasons, and I'll get into it in a second. The first thing you want to do is you want to separate all the different parts. So, for instance, you want to take the leaves off, put them to the side. You know, you can see there's flowers here. You know, you take the flowers off, put those to the side. You know, maybe cut the roots off here and put that to the side. So separate everything there. That's the first thing you want to do. You want to test, test everything individually here. So um, the reason why I'm choosing to go with the, uh, the leaves is because I smelt it and it has a nice garlicky, uh, mustardy smell. Hint, hint. <laughs> uh, but in this case, I don't know what this is. So. I'm going with this. And also, I'm not choosing the flowers because they're too small. They're not going to fill me up enough. They're not going to give me enough energy. So uh, the smell is why I'm choosing this. I'm not choosing this, the stem, because to me, uh, I, don't, I can't cook it up. So whether it's edible or not, I don't know. It's really not palatable to me. Uh, the roots, um, same thing. It doesn't feel palatable to me, so I'm not going to use that. I'm going to be on the move without you know, cooking it, so I'm going to eat it raw, I'm going with the leaves. That's how I chose that. Now, in reality, I know the, the, the roots are edible on this one, but we're not talking about that. It just doesn't seem, it seems like the, uh, the leaves, because of the smell, is the best way to go. Now, the reason um, I chose this plant, another reason, is because it has a nice smell, like I said. So, you want to trust your instincts, but not too much. Um, it's just a Go by smell. If it has a, a nasty aroma, aroma that's not appealing to you, most likely it's probably not good to eat. That's not always the case, but um, in this case, I, I'm going with my gut feeling. I'm going to test this one because it has a nice, pleasant aroma. You look at um, pregnant ladies and stuff. You know their senses are heightened for a reason. You know they have a great sense of smell. They have a great sense of taste. Is because of the fact that there's anything that's poisonous or in the, in the leaves or the vegetation they're eating, you know, they, your body wants to spit it out right away to protect the baby. So you can't strictly go on that, but it's a good start. So, so far what we did is we separated. We're just going to test the leaves right now. We're going to test the leaves and we'll test all the other stuff another time. But anyways, so we're, we're going to test it raw. So let's continue on. What's the next step? So first of all, you know, in order to do this, this is an emergency situation, you're hungry. You've already not eaten for over, well over eight hours. When you do tests, you want to make sure your system is clean for eight hours for several reasons. Uh, just the one I'll give you right now is just you want, uh, you basically just want this to react to you as, as fast as possible. If you have something else in your system, it might take a little longer or might be reacting to whatever else you ate. So you're just going to do this for eight hours. Drink water. You can still do that, but no, no other food in your systems for eight hours. This is the test. So... While you're waiting that eight hours or whatever, you know, you want to test this. The first thing you want to do is you want to rub the plant on your skin to see how uh, your skin reacts to it. See if it bumps up or anything like that, like a stinging nettle, you'll get little marks, poison ivy, um, you know, you'll, you'll get bumps there. But you want to take the sensitive part of your skin. Inside your wrist is a good place and also um, inside your elbow is a good place, you know. I know Underneath your armpits, it's very sensitive, but I wouldn't recommend that place because it's touching. And then if something happens, it could spread all throughout there. So use here. You know, what I would do is just take a dry leaf maybe and maybe just, you know, scrape it, you know, rub it like that on the inside of your arm. See, and then uh, see what happens. Or, and then also, you know, maybe crush up. I always take things a little further. Crush it up a little bit and then maybe rub it on your, your wrist. So you have one here, one there. So you can see what happens. 
Now, they say you have to wait 15 minutes for that. Um, this is all, you know, in the books and stuff when I studied it back in the day. Um, I'm a little bit more cautious than that. I would let, rather wait a little longer. So I'm going to be throwing out a lot of numbers. And if you don't think this is uh, long enough time, you can make it longer, obviously. It depends on your situation, if you need energy right, or not, right away or not. But anyway, so continue on. That's the first test. So you wait 15 minutes. Nothing's happened. What do you do next? Take a little bit. Uh, you know, maybe take a leaf that's not crumbled up. Touch it to your lip a little bit like that and wait, they say three minutes, I'd give it a little longer, and see what happens. If you feel numbness, tinglingness, um, you know, swellingness, whatever, this, any kind of weird sensation, you know not to use it. Um, then what I'd recommend is, you know, get some, get some oils out of the uh, leaf by crumbling up. Do the same thing. Wait a couple, three, three minutes, maybe even longer. See what happens. Now, if nothing happens there, the next step is what you want to do is you want to take it to, and put it on your tongue. Put it on your tongue, do a dry leaf, put it on your tongue, and the, 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 I'm trying to talk like this, and hold it there for 15 minutes. Okay? So hold it there for 15 minutes, see what happens. No reactions. Then what you should do is uh, you should put in your mouth a small pinch only. Put it in your mouth and chew it up. And chew it and, and, and uh, leave it on your tongue after it's chewed for 15 minutes. If there's no reaction there, then go ahead and swallow that little piece, okay? Now, this is where you have to wait for about eight hours. So you want to make sure you don't take any other food, anything like that. You're, you're testing this. You wait for eight hours to see if it has any reaction. If there's no reaction to that, then what you should do is uh, take a little bit bigger of a portion, maybe about <clears throat> about half a, uh, excuse me, a quarter of a cup or so, or maybe even a little bit less than that, and then go ahead and chew it up swallow it see what happens if there's no reaction to that after eight hours you're probably is probably pretty good uh, to eat some more of it you know in the future now when do you use this method of testing your food well really never you should never do this and uh, why do I say you should never do this is because that you know uh, Unless it's an emergency situation, you have, you know, books to go to, local experts, you have the internet, which you can't really always trust this stuff, but you have all these things to check. So you should really never test this stuff, you know. If you weren't sure what this is, look up online or go to a field guide book or something. You'll figure out what it is. Um, this is garlic mustard. But if you're not sure, don't eat it. That's my recommendation. This is an emergency situation only. And... Emergency situation, what's that? Um, I don't know. You're stuck in the woods for a very long time. Now, you can survive three weeks without food, even longer. I've heard months without food. Now, are you going to have energy to do things, you know, when you get, you know, a week, two weeks in? Probably not. You probably don't have enough energy to do things, and you're probably going to have to eat a little bit to uh, continue, you know, making fire, collecting wood, building shelter, whatever the case may be. So, in that case, that's the emergency situation I'm talking about. But you, like, if you're just stuck out for the night, a couple nights, don't eat anything. Continue to, to uh, stay hydrated with clean water. Um, in some circumstances, um, well, I'm not going to get into that. I'll go into that another time. I was going to talk about in some circumstances, you just drink the uh, unpurified water because it's better to you know, treat diseases later than to, um, you know, uh, Treat disease, it's better to treat diseases later than to die of dehydration on the spot. So, um, but anyways, I'm not getting into that too much, but always treat your water in this case. But other than that, um, this is the reason, this is basically how you see if something is edible in an emergency situation. If you're just getting into wild edibles, make sure you learn first on what can kill you or harm you. For instance, the hemlock. Um, not the hemlock, the tree, which we see here, that's edible, which I'll go over that another time, but hemlock, the plant, the one that killed Socrates. Uh, you want to make sure you absolutely know that one. Also, mushrooms. You know, don't take your chances on mushrooms unless you're talking to experts out there. So, in an emergency situation, especially mushrooms on the ground, you know, chicken in the woods, that kind of stuff, stuff that grows on trees, a little bit more safe, but still, you got to know what you're talking about and what you're doing. So, stay away from mushrooms in general. Uh, in an emergency situation. And, you know, poison ivy, poison oak, you know, learn what those things are so you're not, you know, rubbing that against your skin to get irritated or you're not uh, eating it, ingesting it. Who knows what that can do from the inside? That can't be good. Um, it probably can close your airways. Who knows what it can do? So just learn what 
can hurt you out there first before you, you even start getting into wild edibles. Just one last thing. If you swallow it and your body is having a negative reaction to what you just ate, you want to induce vomiting right away. Stick your fingers down your throat and make sure your hands are clean though. <laughs> you don't want to get bacteria and stuff in there. Get everything out right away. Now, if for some reason, if you can't induce vomit, vomiting, drink lots of water and then try to vomit, see if that works. But if, you, if you're just not a vomiter, which some people are, just go ahead and just drink lots of water. But uh, you want that out of your system if you can. Uh, the other thing I mentioned before is that you want to wait eight hours so you can have the true effect of this plant and not the other things that are in your stomach. And the other thing is, is you, if you just ate a good fish meal or you just ate some, you know, some other stuff, you don't want to puke all that stuff out. <laughs> so that's another reason why you want to wait out eight hours. You don't want to waste good food that's already in your system by puking stuff out if this stuff is not good. So anyways, this is for emergency situation. Remember that. This is Wilderness Surviving to Thriving. See you next time. Peace.